Hello! So today I was going to show you the process of painting this mural I did uh, in an office. It's a cougar in a forest, which it was fun. I did a sketch before I painted it I've never painted on a wall before, so this is my first time. But yeah. Um, I'm going to show you a picture of the sketch. I didn't film the sketch because it was just like a learning process for me. It's trying to plan it out on the wall. So yeah. Uh, let's just get to it. I'm not completely sure how this is going to come together, but <laughs> we'll see. The first thing I did was sketch out the thing. I did it with freehand, meaning like I just looked at my sketch and then sketched from my sketch onto the wall, which was really difficult. It's kind of um, weird how the perspective of where you're standing, either on the ground or on the ladder, changes um, how the sketch looks on the wall. So. That was a learning curve, it's definitely, I mean, I was kind of expecting that, but it was weird. So I finished the sketch, I think. I'm not sure yet, it might change a bit later. Um, I don't know if it's a problem yet that I used brown, I guess we'll figure out as we go. But, yeah. So, I did paint the sky, although I think the color might be a little too light. I might uh, go over again with a second coat that's a bit um, more blue. So the paint I used was just regular wall paint. I got a red color, like a pure red pigment, I think. A pure blue, pure yellow, uh, a white, and uh, a glossy black paint, which I'm not excited about. I ended up using like cheap acrylic paint. Um, because it was just more opaque, it wasn't transparent <laughs> like the actual house paint thing. I don't know. Uh, I still need to test out different paint because uh, this is like the first paint I've used. I was surprised how nervous I was, like starting. Um, I mean, I guess with any new thing you're kind of nervous, but I did have fun. There were parts where it was stressful, like I couldn't get the cat to look right. Um, part of the time I was kind of stressed out about that. My sister actually helped me a lot with advice or telling me where things looked a bit weird and where to change, so thank you. You'd be surprised <laughs> by how long that takes. It's definitely a lot longer than the sketch I did. It takes forever. And I'm ready to be done with this upper section because I don't want to hold my hand up that high <laughs> anymore. <laughs> I'm getting tired. So it will be good to do this. Uh, finish the snow and then I'll start working on the tree line, hopefully. I'll try and do that tonight after the snow but then again my arm might be too tired after that and uh, it's already tired trying to hold this camera i don't have a tripod which makes this filming this process a lot harder but we're getting it done
Something that did help me a lot is uh, actually for a couple of years I've been watching this guy called Mural Joe on YouTube. He's really smart anyway. He gives a lot of good advice um, for patterns and observations on how to like create an illusion kind of with paint on the wall, which I'm nowhere near as good as him. Uh, I still have a lot to learn. But yeah, he. Um, I've watched his videos for a few years, I think, so it was nice. Uh, pretty crazy trying to like paint a mural for the first time, but definitely his advice helped a lot. And I think one thing I do differently is just try to have more fun while painting. Because you can always paint over things. It's still nerve-wracking, especially because you can think about like the price of paint, you might be wasting stuff, but uh, I'd rather, I mean it's probably better to just have fun than to dread the whole process. So we did the tree line and the rocks yesterday as well as the little lake. I don't know if it's done yet, I might go over it again, but the goal for today is to get the tree line done, try and get the trees in and work on the reflection a bit more and that rock there and we'll see how it goes. But should be fun. <laughs> So we finished the forest, I think. I might change, again, I might change some things later, I'm not quite sure yet, but what I have to do next is paint a big tree over here and add some rocks down here, and then we can start painting the cougar, <laughs> which is exciting. So I'll show you the forest. Um, it took quite a long time, but I think it looks all right. It's kind of hard to see <laughs> this close, I'll step back.
for the amount of time I did have, I do think it turned out good. I definitely had to learn a lot of new things, like uh, I'm not experienced with landscapes at all. That's why it was important for me doing this sketch, um, trying to figure out how I wanted the colors to look, as well as the limited palette. I wanted to figure out how to mix the colors before I tried it with the actual paint on the wall. Near the end I was stressed out because I wasn't getting the cat to look correct, or uh, not how I wanted it to, which honestly, it still kind of looks a bit different than I wanted it to turn out, but um, for the skill set that I have now, I think it's okay. And again, I can always change it when I'm better, so. Now that I've had a day of not staring at the mural, because I've been working on it for a week, so looking at it every day for a week, I can notice all the mistakes and stuff, or things that I wanted look different, but I'm not quite sure how to achieve that yet. Um, so, after waiting, I think it looks fine, and I'm sure as time goes on, I'll it will grow on me. <laughs> but I hope you guys like it. I guess that's what's important. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video, hopefully. <laughs>